Hello everybody, um, it's like two days till Christmas and um, I watched the third film in all the Haunts BRs, Witch Hammer. And oh, before, yeah, so Christmas, I don't know if, I didn't know this, I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard some folklorists say that Christmas is a time for like ghost stories and, and um, scary stories and that Santa Claus himself is a wild man kind of like a like a creature of the forest so you know so it's a good time to talk about all the haunts VRs and the fourth film no the third film so far that's not from the witch hammer and uh, eyes of fire was awesome Lepterica was good um, Witch Hammer, it's good, but there's nothing supernatural about it, and it's just more like um, a historical drama, and it's just pretty depressing because it's in this village. You know, this old beggar lady, she steals a, a wafer from a communion wafer, and they someone sees her steal it, and they tell the priest, and then they ask her, "Why did you steal it?" And she said, "Cause." This lady was going to feed it to her cow. In exchange, she's going to give this old, old lady like a can of peas and some bread. And it's just a, super, <clears throat> a superstition, you know, I guess. I never heard of it, you know, if you feed the cow a wafer and it'll give milk. It's just a silly superstition. But this old lady gets accused of witchcraft. And then she, they torture her to tell her who, like... Well, she told them right away, like, who wanted the wafer... So they get that lady, and it's just like endless torture, and and just getting these women to confess to being witches, and none of them are witches. So it was really infuriating, and the the, the son of a bitch that does it is can't remember Bogli, Boglio or something. I don't know what his he just he was like a failure, so he just wanted to make other people suffer, and like anyone who says anything, okay, you're a witch too, then. You're going to get tortured until you confess. And he even says, like, well, I torture them. So, and then they confess that they're in league with the devil. So, you know, it must be true. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's one guy. Uh, what was his name? Like, Daunter. There's one guy that really opposed him. So he was pissing off this Boblio guy. And then he just, like... The witch hunter just... Um, Arrests this guy's friends, gets them all to confess through torture that they were in league with the devil and that this guy was part of it. And eventually they just killed him, the, like the main guy. And it's there's a scroll at the end. It says that the witch hunter lived happily ever after and that he even got married and had like a great life and just destroyed so many people, which is I guess what really happened. So it was good. It's in black and white. Oh yeah, it's in black and white. It's a Czechoslovakian film. It was very well, very well made, and the actors were really good. Some um, surprising nudity, I thought, for 1970. I guess not too surprising, but for, for a Czechoslovakian, film. I've never seen a Czechoslovakian film before. I don't think it was really good, but there's no um, supernatural witch. There's no real witch. There's never. I was hoping like a real witch would come along and like kill this dude and put a spell on him but no never get gets his comeuppance nothing ever happens to which is like real life um so it was good but i still like eyes of fire so far as the best leptirica witch hammer it's a cool name too for a movie witch hammer there's a book in it called the witch hammer <laughs> technically witch hammer is might be the better of the three films, but it was just, it was a little boring. I did get in, like, the first 45 minutes. It is, it's like an hour and 45 minutes. So it's the longest one so far. But I would give it three, a solid three hands of fate, just, just because it bored me a little bit. And I've seen, you know, like, Witch Hunter movies before, and then I've seen Witch Finder general which is really good but i think yeah i'm pretty sure which hammer comes before it 
but it was still good. It just wasn't what I wanted. But next is Vi or V V. I don't know Vi V. And look at her, she's so awesome in the movie. I, I mean, I had a bootleg of of V, <laughs> and it's really good. She's like, the witch. She's like, I'm gonna get you. Like, she's really cool and she's really pretty too. Um, so I, I I'm gonna watch it. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't think I've reviewed V before. So the, I'm, and like I said, um, Eyes of Fire is the best film. So far, of V is right up there. I mean, the, V is just as good as Eyes of Fire, but totally different. It's a Russian film, and yeah, I already just see V. If you ever have a chance to buy it, uh, Severin has a DVD Blu-ray of it on its own. So if you just wanted to get Eyes of Fire and V, then, man, you might be set there. This is a really nice set. I'm really glad I got it. I've been watching it. Well. This will be the, usually I, I don't keep up like this, you know, with this box set or, you know, I'll sit on movies forever, but I'm really interested in, in all these folklore. I'm really looking forward to Kadaicha, Clear Cut, Tilbury, and let's see what's... Or Allison's Birthday. And then there's another movie with like rabbits. So yeah, if you can still get one, get one. Or you know, just see these movies if you're into folklore, supernatural, witches stuff. So it's, uh, I'm gonna watch V and I'll review it. You know, all the haunts will still be ours.